Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think it's uh, an, uh, not a an secret that I don't like when the government interferes uh, in the market and in our free choice uh, of the products that we like. For instance, uh, I disagree with the government, the US government, um, that implemented that um, tax reduction, you know, uh, which is uh, $7,400, and taxes if you buy an electric car. So if you buy an electric car, the government will um, see that and they will help you with about 7,400 uh, deduction, so 7,400 uh, 7, deduction in your taxes. And therefore, you that's an incentive for you to buy a product against another product, which is the combustion engine product. I let the market and the people choose, free to choose, uh, as Friedman said, um, you know, let us decide and then the market will adjust. It's not the service that appears over there, it's the consumer's desire, need, is the demand. And then you got a supply based on the demand. So let the market, the invisible hand of the, that's garbage what we have right now. So what's going on over here? I'm okay with free competition fair competition. That is, the government doesn't, you know, monitor and goes and does all kind of things. In this case, this is what these guys are doing in Europe. And I, I bet there's going to be further in the United States of America, maybe not under Trump. Russia Today. Insect-based ingredient cleared for European Union foods. UV-treated mealworm powder or mealworm powder can be added to bread, cheese, pasta, and other food products under new regulation. The European Commission has approved a new food ingredient made from dried and ground mealworm larvae, the young form of beetles. All right, the larva will be treated with ultraviolet UV light, a process similar to how sunlight helps human skin produce vitamin D. The approval is part of the European Union's plans to introduce more sustainable protein sources and allow up to 4% of the insect-based powder in products such as bread, cheese, pasta and jams. So up to 4%. The regulation takes effect on February 10th. Now, I'm okay with that. Let them do that as long as the government will not provide incentives for the customer to buy this product against another product without that kind of product in, with the insects in. Now, if you want to have burgers and you want to eat, I don't know, uh, insect generated burgers, it's up to you. But I should not be infringed from getting the big fucking burger with that whatever you eat over there supposedly meat okay <laughs> so i don't eat burgers just a disclaimer rarely maybe once in six months when i'm stranded somewhere not even six months and i eat one they taste good because they put the right pss, 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 ingredients you know but what you eat obviously so i'm okay with this you do that i'm fine i don't want you to get out the real meat the real bread from flour from uh, grains and so on that's all, my friends. That's all. And remember, we have this guy who is an expert in everything. I don't infringe Bill Gates's freedom of speech whatsoever, but it shouldn't be infringed my freedom of speech when analyzing his statements, as my statements, my videos could be gladly analyzed and commented upon by you, my friends. Now, Bill Gates was a big promoter of the insect burgers and other foods and I suspect that he's got something already ready for us. Well, I know he's, I think, the, the biggest uh, private owner of uh, agricultural land in the United States of America. Yeah, yeah, Bill Gates, the one with pop, the one with pop, the one who knew everything about everything. All right. Nevertheless, he can have an opinion. You can listen to him or not. His opinion should not be banned as mine should not be banned. In this case, let them have it. Don't infringe on everything else. Let us eat. What do we want to eat? I want to eat beef. Let me eat beef. Well, you're going to make it expensive by limiting the supply. That's what they do. As I always uh, give you this uh, example, they don't have to take your weapons away in America. They don't have to take your 
weapons away. They don't have to you know, change the constitution or write some baboonish uh, laws or anything like that. No, they don't, uh, they don't have to. They just make it in such a way that your gun, in order to buy, a, let's say, a handgun, you, uh, it's about $100,000 a handgun. Who's going to have it? They will have it. Not everyone. Or make a gun, let's say a gun is uh, a handgun, well, let's say a revolver, Let's make, make it normal. Let's do this right now. I don't know, 500, 800, 800 1000, 2000, depends on what you want to buy. And you buy it, but the bullets and the ingredients for you to make the bullets, I make them $100,000, I don't know, a half of pound of powder, let's say. Just give an example. Or a bullet, I make it $10,000, one bullet. You're going to have the guns, but you can shoot them. But they will have the guns and they could shoot it. So the same here. Don't make it for me impossible to eat the real, not the real food, what I prefer, what I want to grow. I don't want pita to show up at my door and say, excuse me, sir, that's, uh, you're going to kill that uh, cattle over there? Mm, what do you think? Oh my God! And then I'm prison. I don't want that to happen or charge me and fine me or tax me on whatever I want to eat. That is... Uh, unfair competition and the uh, invisible hand of the... No, it's very visible. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Let them eat cake if they want, you know, the same here. Let them eat uh, insect-based ingredient however they want. I'm not against it. It might be good, obviously, right? But I don't want unfair competition, including with the cars, with the bicycles, with my uh, preferences. Do I hurt anybody? You can always hurt something, like right now, inhale. I inhale a lot of things in, right now in the air. Bacteria and shit, whatever it is. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.